vegan pie crown champion. Is it a vegan pie? Is it really vegan if it's made by a butcher? Hi, you're with Scott. This is Battery Exhausted, my channel. It's midnight. It's always midnight. This is your right ear and your left ear because this is mono. I believe the BBC, British Public Service Broadcaster, the BBC, have an anti-vegan agenda. And this week they have not disappointed me. British Pie Awards. Vegan Pie crowned champion. So, ostensibly, ostensibly, ostensibly. So, ostensibly, this is a pro-vegan message. And I'm telling you the BBC are anti-vegan. So, what's going on here? Let's just quickly have a look. The Vegan Pie has been crowned champion of the British Pie Awards. Right? So, that sounds like a, a positive pro-vegan thing. The curried sweet potato and butternut squash vegan pie beat hundreds of others to take the title. A vegan pie has risen to claim top spot in a competition held at the home of the pork pie. So, already, there's trouble at mill. We're at the home of the pork pie. So I don't appreciate, if I'm a vegan, which I am, I don't appreciate the advertising of the pork pie and the promotion of the pork pie in the same context as the promotion of the vegan pie. Far be it from me to sound like an exclusionist, but I, I believe vegan food surpasses animal death alternatives. Anyway, the curried sweet potato and butternut squash treat was picked as supreme champion at the British Pie Awards held in Melton Mowbray, Leicestershire. Again, we're promoting Melton Mowbray and the Pie Awards, as well as the vegan pie. We're, we're, we're bringing this, this in now as subtext. All pies, animal flesh, baked in a crust, everything. A new vegan category was introduced this year and attracted 68 entries. So good on you, pie competition, for introducing a vegan category. But as a vegan, I won't be entering your pie competition that promotes animal-based products. And I'm surprised that 68 people wanted to enter a competition which is put on and run by people who promote and sell animal-based products. That seems a bit non-vegan to me. But of course, maybe people just want to sell their vegan pies and maybe they're not really vegan. Maybe they don't care about the vegan ethics and ideology. Maybe they just care about selling pies to vegans because it's a growth market. So, 68 entries in this non-vegan competition that has a vegan category where all day, all kinds of animal-based products, pies of all kinds from all over the country were entered into the competition. All kinds of animal-based products. This is a photograph from the British Pie Awards. These, these are not vegan pies. These are pork pies. Other new categories this year included a specialist fish and chip shop pie and best young pie maker. Best young pie maker. So we're selling fish. We're killing pigs. It's a big animal killing festival. The awards, which marks their 10th anniversary this year, so it's not even like a tradition or anything. It's only 10 years old. And it's probably only been created to try and prop up a failing industry because pork pies, as we all know, are antiquated. And while some people still enjoy them as a sort of throwback uh, retro taste, most modern people don't even like the, uh, the pork pie with its huge salt content, horrible jelly, and needless waste of animal life. Chairman Matthew O'Callaghan said the standard of pies has significantly improved since the first competition in 2009. Significantly there is the quote. Just simply the word significantly. I challenge that, to be honest. I challenge that. Because those pies, I mean, how long have pork pies been made? How many pies have been made over the years? And do you think in the last 10 years, pie making has suddenly significantly improved? No, it's just some bullshit, isn't it? With categories now recognising gluten-free, vegan and vegetarian products to reflect the evolving tastes of the nation. Evolving being the quote there, evolving. Uh, he said the growth of the awards has helped showcase the popularity of the humble pie. Well, they're not so humble now, are they? They're gluten-free, vegan and vegetarian. It's not a taste for me. Vegan is not a taste. It's not a taste. It's not, it's not like a, it's, it's not something that I, I choose out of taste. It's something I choose out of ethics. It's about animal welfare. So it's not to, for me, veganism doesn't reflect my tastes evolving. Uh, maybe this guy, maybe Chairman Matthew O'Callaghan is confused about the rise of veganism. And maybe they've categorised it here with gluten-free as a sort of dietary pariah, like allergic to certain things or picky about what they eat. 
in a negative way rather than someone who's healthy, modern, uh, forward-thinking, ecological, with a bias towards compassion and animal welfare. We started off small with the idea to celebrate pies because they're one of the great contributions to the world from British cuisine, he said. Well, yeah, great. Pies are great, aren't they? Well, no, not all the pies. Like I said, some of the pies are all about that meat industry, aren't they? That animal flesh industry. Some of the pies are processed heart attack generators that damage the nation's health, as well as destroying innocent animal lives and creating said lives purely for the profit of an industry. So overall, we rate the pie competition a bad thing as vegans, don't we? We say that's a bad thing the pie competition on the whole. I'm surprised that 68 people entered, 68 vegans. What would a vegan be doing, seen at this place, promoting pork? I don't know. Anyway, there's something that I wanted to just bring up, a big kicker. You might, you might have guessed due to the, the title of the video, but organisers said the winner from John Thorner's Butchers in Somerset was well-deserving of the accolade. The organisers think they're well-deserving of the accolade, but the organisers, despite naming a category in their competition in honour of veganism, don't really understand veganism because they would never give an award, a vegan award, to a butcher, would they? Because as we all know, butchers trade in animal flesh. They trade in the corpses of animals. Sometimes they kill the animals themselves on site and sometimes they receive them pre-murdered. So they can cut them up into all kinds of different sized chunks, hack the legs off, take bits off the back, give it all funny names and sell it to the public. So let's take a look at the origin of this vegan pie, shall we? Who makes the best vegan pie? This is John Thorner's of Somerset. This is their website. Award-winning products made in the heart of Somerset. John Thorner's began with the simple idea of providing quality meat, sourced locally wherever possible. Meat, of course, I call that flesh. It's dead animals. So if you look on their website, the thing that they're promoting here is flesh. They do a lot of that. They're in, they're in the Guild of Butchers. This is just another one of these marketing things. You know how I feel about marketing. You pay to get your badge. And now you're in the best... Bu Admission is based on an audit of the whole business. And I guarantee that they have to pay for that audit. They do pre-packaged animals. Or your butcher can serve you up for something a bit different. They're big on their pork pies. Their scotch eggs. And if you look on their website... They're promoting the consumption of animals. So a butcher is not a good vegan pie maker, are they? They're not a vegan pie maker. They might have made a pie that vegans can eat in terms of diet. But me personally, being an ethical vegan, I wouldn't eat their pie. I certainly wouldn't give them money for their pie because then I'd be propping up the animal slaughter industry. And this brings me on to a slightly broader question, which I'd like to question you guys if you are vegans. Should vegans be buying products from companies and people that are not vegan? Should we be promoting those companies on our social media? When the local supermarket brings out a new vegan product, when Ben and Jerry's bring out a new vegan ice cream, should you promote their business Bearing in mind all the money they take from us vegans, they pump back into the economy of shame. And people talk about the economics of supply and demand. If we buy more vegan stuff, they'll provide more vegan stuff and they won't provide as much non-vegan stuff. But I argue with that because I'd say that your money goes into the industry and they use that money to advertise and promote non-vegan ideas. And one of these really dangerous non-vegan ideas is that veganism is just a diet and it's something that you can bracket away with the gluten-free. Vegan's not a diet. Vegan's an ideology that informs a diet. In the supermarket, we shouldn't have a vegan section. We shouldn't be in the free-from section because all the fruit and veg is vegan. You don't take all the apples and put them in the vegan section, do you? We don't need a vegan section. You need all the food to be vegan, sustainable, ethical and the stuff that's not the butchered things the exploitative things they should be put in their own special little section for people who don't give a fuck about anybody else but themselves so there you have it the british pie awards on the surface 
It's a pro-vegan pro vegan article, British Pie Awards, Vegan Pie Crown Champion. And there's no one claiming ownership of the article here. There's no author again. And I, I do think that when the BBC are producing these non are producing these pieces of anti vegan propaganda, there's some weird reason that they never authored. Maybe it's because they're being written as press releases and delivered to the BBC and they're just sort of copy pasting. I don't know. I don't know the source. I don't know who's paid for this. But it, it, but it does say it comes from the BBC East Midlands. Related topics, veganism and Melton Mowbray. You wouldn't think those two would go together, would you? It says, final line, the pie is for everybody. And of course, the vegan pie is for everybody. You don't need the word vegan in front of it. You could just call it a pie, couldn't you? It's a pie. You can all eat it. But the animal flesh pie, that's not for everybody. That's not for people who choose to remove themselves from the economy of shame. You know, there's quite a few people who would think of this as disgusting. So the, the pie is for everybody, but the vegan pie is for everybody. So I believe this is anti-vegan propaganda. Whilst on the surface, it seems like a pro-vegan message, or at least a vegan message in the BBC News. When you dig in and scroll further, it's actually a promotion for a butcher's, all as part of a marketing promotional push to sell more pork pies. All of this is just part of a marketing campaign to promote pork pies, pig pies. So it's not a vegan message at all, is it? Not at all. Thanks, BBC. <laughs> get the t-shirt follow the link in the description below you can get it on a hoodie you can get it on other things it's called cool design i designed it the money goes to a real vegan or you could just chip in a tip into the tips jar and buy me a coffee please share the videos because youtube's not going to help <laughs>